Hello and welcome to Hemsby, which is situated one mile off the Norfolk coast. This is a place where UK Power Networks has installed an innovative new project. It's called a Dynamic Energy Storage Device and it's the first of its kind in the UK. And here to tell us more about it is Head of Future Networks, Dave Openshaw. Well, the way the device works very simply is that it stores electricity when wind generation output is high or demand is low and then feeds it back into the grid when wind generation output is low or demand is high. This particular device can store 200 kilowatt hours of electricity and supply 600 kilowatts of peak demand. So that's roughly equivalent to supplying 200 homes for about one hour. The main benefit for us is, is it helps us to regulate power flows on our network, smoothing out peaks in demand and generation. But there are some important secondary benefits as well. With this device, we can control power factor, which enables us to control voltage more accurately. And we can also improve power quality because of the harmonic filtering capability of the plant. A device like this could certainly make wind power more viable in the future because as well as being variable, wind power output is also quite unpredictable, which means that balancing the system is going to be quite challenging in future. But a device like this, which can release energy back into the network almost instantaneously, will reduce the cost of system balancing. Technology development engineer Peter Lang, who oversees the project, explains the equipment inside the storage device. This is the heart of the energy storage device. The batteries are in the form of modules. Each module has 48 volts. These are connected in series to produce a stack of, uh, of 13 modules, 650 volts. Eight stacks are then connected in series to produce an overall voltage of 5,200 volts. This is a purpose-built building and to ensure that we've got the right fire precautions we've installed a carbon dioxide fire extinguishing system. Clearly we wouldn't want to be using water when we've got electricity uh, being stored in this, uh, in this building. Anna Johnson is from ABB in Sweden who collaborated with UK Power Networks to design, deliver and install the device. Well, the technology is based on ABB's existing SVC Lite platform, uh, which is basically uh, power electronics uh, which can convert DC to AC. And there we have added on lithium-ion batteries. So it's uh, basically a mixture of the new and old or existing technology. Yes, we see this as being a very enabling uh, technology for especially the uh, variable uh, generations such as wind power. And we definitely see more grid type multi megawatt uh, energy storage devices in the future. Thanks Anna. We hope that you've enjoyed the virtual tour of the storage device here at Hemsby today. If you have any further questions or would just like to find out more, please contact me, Tracy Sparling, in the UK Power Network's press office.